we did it! Oh yeah, yeah! Yeah! We did it, doggies! Oh! That is, that is what I'm talking about right there! Oh! oh man, I'm so happy right now. That is the best thing. Oh, bro. You're kidding me. Yes. Yeah! What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another video. Look at this bloody big, dirty meat cleaver, man. We are up to no good again, and this is going to be... Man, this is going to be really, really bloody fun. Right now what I'm doing is, I've just gone inside the troopy and I have basically cleaned out my freezer. I've got bags of old fishing bait, I've got bags of, of fresh fish which has gone like just, it's just gone rank, it's been in there for too long. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take all of this, all of this down here. All these bags of fish, that's no good to eat anymore, it's no good to me. It, it's, it's just all like sort of slushy and mushy, so what I'm doing is, Got this big juicy meat cleaver out and I am just making up one big box of burley. Once, once I get that burley sorted, what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna spend the afternoon down here. I'm gonna flood burley out there and we are gonna, um, we're going shark fishing. But we're gonna see what we can bring in with this monstrosity of a burley mix we're about to make. We've got that there. I also found this in the car as well. I'm pretty sure that's brisket. Um, don't count me on that. I've got no idea how old, how old that is, but we might even, um, but we're definitely gonna start a fire down here and um, we might even chuck that brisket or whatever the hell that is in a camp oven and um, set some big juicy rods out. Look at that. This is what it's all about. It is the most incredible afternoon. I'm on one hell of a burly making mission. We have got so much fish to cut up here. I'll be here for quite a while, but um, the aim of the game is to get a big juicy slob on the beach sometime tonight. We've got the whole night, we're in no rush, so um, man, I'm just gonna sit here, debag these little bags of bags of fish, turn them into burly, hopefully we can turn them into some big ass shark, or I don't know, see, let's just to see where the night goes. No plans, man. No plan is a good plan. There we go. All right, now the key to making the perfect burley is you only want to use, you only want to have these tiny little slices of fish. You don't want to have big chunks of fish floating out there because the fish that we're going to be targeting tonight, they're going to be big slobs. And we don't want those fish actually eating the burley. We just want them to smell the burley. Hopefully this is going to bring in some monster sharks, a couple of big fish. Man, who knows what's going to happen. It could just be a stingray fury night. I've got no idea, but this is going to be super fun. Stay tuned, crack a tin, sit back. We're going fishing. No, 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 we're going shark fishing. All right, now to get the stink in the water, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a bag of this Burley with fish oil, so I'm just gonna chuck in. So that's what we got now. We've got half a bucket of fish. That's only half of the fish. Chuck in half that bag now, and um, we'll do another half later on. But that's basically what it's looking like. A big bucket of snot, man. Look at that. I'm gonna let that sit, soak into itself. Yeah, look at that. All right, here we go. It's just like feeding the chickens. Nice little handful of burley there. See ya, mate. Bring in the slobs. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, that'll do for now. But we're gonna get a fire going. We're gonna start setting the mood out here. Cause we're out, we're out here. We're in for the long run. Big dogs on the deck. Plan anyway. Here we go. Here we go. That's gonna go boom any second. 
Alright, I'm gonna go start setting up these rods. Get a couple of torches ready. That sun's gonna go down very, very bloody quickly and um, we could be in for one hell of a night. I'm pretty excited about this. Let's go. We've just put the first rod out. So we've got one fishing rod over there. I'm gonna hold off until it gets dark to put the second one out, but we've got one rod in the water, little fire pumping down here. Mate, look at this. It's so bloody good, eh? Look at that. Not a breath of wind, snowing around. Man, oh man. All right, I'm getting hungry. I've eaten bugger all today. I've done a lot of driving, actually. So, um. I'm gonna start, maybe we'll do something with that brisket that we just ripped out of the fridge. I've got no idea how to cook that, but um, we're gonna find a way. Let's see if we can um, bust up some, some mad kind of feed out here in the bush. I don't know, leave it with me. All right, so I've just gone through my draw system here and um, this big filthy draw that just disappears into the troopy has got a fair bit of stuff in it actually. I thought I was on the bones of my ass, but it's not. We've got a little bit of baked beans, Good old Vegemite, you can't go anywhere without Vegemite. We've got a little bit of coconut cream, coconut milk, salt and pepper. But this is what I really wanted. Look, we've got, we got a couple of spuds, we've got an onion, and we've got stock cubes. So we're gonna make, in the camp oven, around the fire, we're gonna make some sort of a hell good bush stew. That's what's going on right now, we're making a bush stew. This is gonna be mad. Oh, look at that, there's garlic in there. Oh, we've got it all. Well, I'll tell you what, this bush stew is gonna be pretty bloody good, I reckon. See, I'm pretty sure that's brisket, eh? That's been in the freezer for a bloody long time, but we're just gonna use it. I found it when we were scabbing through to pick up that barley, but we've got stock cubes, carrots, a couple of these little bad boys. I just chopped up some onion and some garlic. Here we have those incredible Kamakoto knives. Here's that box of knives. I'll show you guys these a little bit later. They are the most deadly cooking knife. They're so bloody good. Japanese steel, mate, look at that. These things are incredible. Anyway, what we're gonna do is cook it up in this camp oven here. So we're gonna bust it on the camp oven, do the first stage on the gas cooker, and then the second stage we're gonna do down there on the fire. So first things first, we're gonna cut up that beautiful piece of meat there. Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at this. The camp stew is officially underway. All right, that big slab of meat that I found in the freezer, I've cut it up into little pieces. We're just gonna brown this meat and then get it back off the camp oven. So we're just gonna sit here, brown it up, take it straight off. It's gonna be one of the best camp stews ever. All right, now when making the perfect camp stew, what you wanna do is get whatever meat that you've got. Doesn't really matter what meat it is because it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a stew. So whatever the hell that was in my fridge or my, yeah, in my freezer, We've just browned it in the bottom of this camp oven with a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt and pepper. But the key is to leave all of these little bits in the bottom of the camp oven. So you've got like little bits of burnt meat and browned up bits of fat. All the liquid that come off that meat, you want to leave it in there. That is the key to making a super tasty stew. So once you've got all that meat out, we're going to set that aside. I'm going to chop up all these veggies and inside the camp oven should be looking like this. You want to leave all those little bits of hard stuff like that, that's what's gonna give it a little bit of a flavor kick later on. So we'll leave that stuff in the camp oven and um, what I'll do now is, is I'll cut up all these veggies, put a little bit of pre-cut up gar garlic and onion there. That can actually go straight in there right now. So I'm gonna brown that, that um, onion and garlic and we'll cut up the rest of our ingredients. Man, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna go check that bait quickly and we'll come back to cooking. If you guys can smell this, man. All right, what I've just done is, I've just turned off that little heater down there or that little cooker. What we've done is we've browned the onion, we've browned the garlic, and um, it is looking bloody beautiful in there. Nice and golden brown. Down here, what I've done is I've cut up a couple of, couple of carrots and a couple of spuds, and I have done that with none other than the Kamakoto set of knives. Now these knives, I wanna show you guys these knives. These things are incredible. The highest quality Japanese steel knives, and if you guys were to feel how sharp these things are, it's like, it's actually scary how sharp they are. They feel beautiful in your hand, 
and they just make an absolute mess of whatever you're cutting up and it just it's just like sunk 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 it is such a beautiful knife to use they come in these incredible wooden boxes so it'll be perfect for a gift or a present for a mom a dad a bloody brother sister a fisherman anybody they come in these beautiful boxes here comes a little bit of a certificate once you order the box you got another two knives inside there and these are made of the highest quality japanese steel so like they are legit man each knife is inspected as it gets made and they're also used by michelin star chefs so these things man, they are legit listen to this that is so sharp dude anyway what i'm going to keep doing what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish off cutting up these veggies and now that i've browned up all of this beautiful goodness in here we'll take that out and then it's um it's the next step of this incredibly good bush juice all right so i've just gone back through the car and i've tried to find a little bit of tomato paste usually what makes these stews really bloody beautiful is like a cup of red wine a little bit of tomato paste when you're out here in the bush it just gives it that flavor but we don't have those luxuries I've li i'm literally just pulling whatever i've got in the back of the troopy into this pot right now so we've got a little bit of um thai yellow curry paste i'm just going to whack that in there because look you just got to use what you got out here before we do the next step i'm just going to take one teaspoon of that bang that in there mix that around with the onion and the garlic all right i'm going to sit that aside for two seconds right there what i've got is i've got my little billy we've got about two three cups of water and i've got two beef stock cubes in there so i'm going to bring that water to the boil we're going to dissolve those stock cubes and then we're going to bust that into that all right here we go here we go that's possible I think we've got possible fish attack right now. It's not big, but we're, there's something going on here. For sure. Nah, it's only a little, it's only a little pup. I don't know if we got it or not, it's tiny. Probably a tailor or something. Look at that. Beautiful little tailor. And the hooks fall out. It's beautiful. That is that is the bait that we need for the night. Look at that. That thing's beautiful. Well, there we go. That is the first fish of the night. A beautiful little tailor. Look at that thing. That's going straight on as bait. That is the best, my favourite bait. Beautiful fresh bait. Can't beat fresh bait, mate. And um, you should smell that from down there. It is incredibly bloody good. I'll show you guys what's going on there. I'll put this guy to sleep. I'll show you the pot. Well, that's epic. We've got one fish on the deck already and it's only very early in the night. But have a look at this. This is what's happening with the stew right now. We've got that broth. I've poured the broth in here. We've got onion, garlic, that curry paste, salt and pepper. And um, now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna let that simmer for about an hour to an hour and a half. So it really starts getting real thick and beautiful and juicy. And then once an hour and a half is up, we're gonna dump those carrots in there. And those spuds are going to go back in there and that's going to sit in there for about another hour and um man you can just if you guys would be able to smell this man it's beautiful this is the hella bush stew also there's a couple of suicide moths they come in for this light and they're like boom, and they just keep like diving straight in there so i reckon there's going to be a little bit of moth flavor in this too a little bit of moth dust hell yeah Oh man, I'm excited, eh? Anyway, if you guys want to get your hands on a set of these incredible bloody Japanese steel knives, what you guys can do is you can use the, the code word field days at checkout and um, you get 50 US dollars off each purchase. So I've been, been using these knives for quite a while now out here in the bush and look, I'm more than happy to, to tell you guys that these things are absolute weapons. So if you guys want to get them, code word is field days at checkout they come in this dope box and when you're doing like little cooking missions like this in the bush it is really nice to have a really razor sharp set of knives especially when you're doing like sashimi and stuff eh? it's like it's just nice to have a good set of knives so if you guys want them code word field days 50 us dollars off each purchase and um they're just all around good set of knives all right this has got i don't know this has probably got another hour and a half to an hour to simmer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stoke that fire up put a big fresh slab of that fish we just caught on that rod bust that back out there and um, we're gonna sit back we're gonna chill and um, hopefully we get that slob we came for it's still early in the night man we've got a big night ahead of us hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey! all right here we go 
Why am I filming? All right, we're on, we're on, we're on, doggies. This rod just went absolutely spastic, bro. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, there are massive head shakes. I don't think this is a shark, eh? This is fighting like a jewel. Oh my God, bro. I've never run so far. All right, we've got big head shakes. It's actually not that big. It went spastic, bro. Nah, this has got to be a good fish, man. That thing was buckling and it was peeling line. I'm just sitting there staring at that stew. And then this thing just went off its head. It's kind of died. This might be a mully. It's gone very quiet. Oh my God, bro. What is this? What do we got? What do we got? It's just behind that wave there. Oh no, 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 don't come off. Where is it? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? This is the most hectic shit right now. Where is it? Where is it? What is that? Oh, you're kidding me! <laughs> no way, bro! Look what we just got! Hey, 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 hey! You're kidding! Yes! Oh, that's so sick. That is a big slob of a pink snapper. Straight off the beach, man. Troopy's right there. We just got a land-based pink snapper off the beach. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. You're joking. That's a slob, too. That size. Beautiful pink snapper. I was wondering why it was fighting so weird, hey? Oh, yes. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> I'm like a little kid at Christmas, man. That's the best thing ever. Yeah! <laughs> you reckon the froth levels were high before? Look at this thing, boy. That is an incredible specimen of the sea. I've been waiting a very very long time to catch a fish like this from the beach. I've actually been trying a long time to catch this Pacific species, a pink snapper, from the beach like this, from this certain beach right here, and I finally have done it. That is a beautiful fish. Look at the colors in them. They are such an incredible fish. Beautiful eating fish, beautiful looking fish. Man, that thing as a land-based fish, I am so pumped right now. That is that's better than any molly off the beach for sure. That's so sick, man. That is beautiful. I'm so happy, dude. You're probably like, man, you're getting really excited over a little fish, but dude, like, I'm happy, dude. This is sick. We've got a stew cooking. We've got a fire pumping back there. We've got pink snapper in our hands. Man, life is good right now, eh? I've got that bait back out there. Look at this. Smoke in my eyes. Oh my God, I'm gonna put this guy out of his misery. And um, this is gonna be po possible breakfast. Maybe a little bit dessert after that stew. Man, look at that, pink snapper off the beach. Thank you, the barely did its job. Mwah! Oh! That's so good! Yeah, doggies! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! I just gotta sit down by the fire for a minute and just realize what, the f what just happened then. I've been fishing for a long time to get one. I'm not even actually targeting that kind of fish right now and it just came through that's just the bycatch and i am gonna take it every day of the week man that is so good dude well i just had to sit next to the fire and just 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 be really happy for a minute day that was psycho hopefully we get another one i don't even need another one my night's done and dusted we're about 20 minutes away from having a stew for dinner we've got a big slob of a pink snapper for breakfast and um life is good man oh hey also check this out man we got a little bit of Little bit of FDYS tracky pants coming on. Guaranteed to catch you fish. Big juicy deep pockets. Lovely little back pocket at the back there. These things are mad. They'll be available on the online shop soon. They catch pink snapper off the beach. That's guaranteed. <laughs> nah, but I like, that's so sick, man. I'm, I'm absolutely frothing. Don't even have a beer out here. I don't even have a beer to celebrate. I do. Anyway, all right. I'll see you guys next time that rod sings. I'm gonna sit here and just smile for a little while. <laughs> hey, if you wanna find me, I'm still over here. I'm still smiling. <laughs>
Yeah! How good, man! Seriously, how good! We're filming. Here we go, yes. Oh, wow. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Here we go, baby. Oh, what are you? What are you? This is a lot bigger. Oh, wow. There's rocks at the back there. Don't go into the rocks. Oh, what is this thing, man? This is a beast. This is a slob. got to turn his head he doesn't want to turn does he oh there's a weird oh wow this is a good fish man this is a really 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 good fish there's rocks just out the back there my oh, doggies this is a slob this feels like a slob of a fish oh no just got us on that bloody rock. It got us on that bloody rock. That was a good fish, man. Oh, that was a lot bigger than that snapper. That was big. Holy moly. We just got pinged on that rock out there. Woohoo! Let's go. Time check. Exactly, 10 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock on the dot. We just got smogged. I'll re-rig up and we'll go out again. Oh no! That was sick. Man, this stew is looking that good. Look how much it's thickened up. Probably been about an hour or an hour and a half, nearly two hours since you guys saw that stew last. And look how thick it is, man. All that liquid's gone. That is bloody beautiful. What I'm going to do is I've just ripped out this out of my little survival pack in the back of the car. I always keep a bag of rice and tuna and shit in a little, you know, little box. So I'm going to chuck that in there, mix it all together, and I reckon that's going to be one hell of a feed. I wouldn't even have cooked this if I knew I was going to catch a pink snapper, but that's breakfast, baby. All right, I'm going to chuck this rice in, and we're just going to make some some bush this is the best thing about being in the bush man there is no rules you just do what you want cook what you want how you want when you want and it always tastes good have a go at that bowl of goodness that's real food all right let's go and sit around the fire smash this beautiful bowl of goodness and um just enjoy life mate oh yeah a little bit of grub beautiful fire Fishing rod, we're only fishing with one rod actually. I haven't even put that other rod out yet. One rod just down there. A little bit of grub, beautiful fire. Righto, let's dig in. This is what it's all about, eh? Here we go. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's so good. That is so tasty, man. Meat soft, potato and carrots nice and soft. Everything's good. We are good. Oh wow, that's really tasty, eh? Oh, the smoke is getting me bad. Oh, there's nothing better than sitting around a fire waiting for your rod to scream. All right, it's been quiet for a little while now. The time is, you probably can't see that. <laughs> the time is 11.36 at night. We haven't had too much action after that. We lost that big fish before. So we've got one big, beautiful, big, beautiful snapper sitting on ice right now. And um, we'll, we'll fill it him up in the morning. I'm just going to sit around this fire for a couple more hours and hopefully we can get something else on the deck. But... To be honest, mate, I'm just absolutely frothed about that snapper. So, see what happens. Sit here for a couple more hours around the fire, and um, you guys will be the first ones to know if we get a big dog on the deck. 
Look at this, man. I've got to sit here forever, eh? Yeah. So warm, bro. Woo! Bloody morning to ya. All right, man, it's starting to get cold in the mornings, hey? I'm freezing my little titties off right now. Nice hot coffee is gonna solve all of our problems right now. Chuck some water in this little thing. Man, I cannot be started. I cannot be bothered starting a fire right now. Boom, that thing's gonna do its job there. All right, we stayed up till about, I don't know, I think I went to bed at like two o'clock in the morning, so we fished pretty hard and we had not even a sniff, like the baits were coming in perfect, like not even little fish were nibbling at them, crabs were nibbling at them, so very strange. Like the amount of burley that I put in the water last night, you would think that would have brought in like slobs from all over the world, but I don't know, that's what's, that's what's one thing I love about fishing, it is never ever the same, like every time you come here it's different, so that's one thing that I really like about it, but man we got a beautiful Beautiful pink snapper last night and I am absolutely frothing about that. That was so sick. What I've done with that fish, it's in the troopy, it's on ice and um, I'm actually gonna leave it as a whole fish. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go to a mate's place tonight and um, we're gonna start up a fire. We're gonna wrap the whole fish in alfoil, lemon, tomato, basil, like just the whole entire fish in alfoil, sit it on coals, cover it in coals and then um, we're all gonna have a couple of beers, open it up and just, just eat the fish like animals. So that's the plan with the snapper. It's in the back of the car there. And um, man, it's a new day. I'm gonna go on a new adventure. I don't know if my hands are gonna be up to it, but my hand, I've been out in the bush for like 10 days, straight 10 days of just doing this back to back. And my hands, I've got cuts and slices and like in the mornings they ache so much, man. They're just like proper, like they're just bush hands, eh? They're so sore, but I love it. It'll be right once they warm up a little bit. Oh man, look at this. Warm up my little hands, please. <clears throat> All right, doggies, if you guys wanna get a set of those incredible Japanese steel knives, you guys know what to do. You can use that code word, field days, at checkout. You get 50 US dollars off each purchase, and um, man, they're good, hey? They sliced up those veggies last night like there was no tomorrow, bop, 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 and that stew was absolutely bloody delicious. That was a super fun night. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and coming on these adventures with me. Thank you for all the support, and I will see you in the next adventure, in the next video. Once again, doggies, much love, and thank you for watching. Hey, say, <laughs> no way, bro. Look what we just got. Hey, 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 hey. You're kidding! Woo -hoo -hoo!